Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I want to record what will hopefully be a quick video on how to create uh, nice, clean, black and white 3D images from ArchiCAD. Uh, I've shared this a lot on various blog posts sh showing these images, but I don't think I've ever actually just said step by step how to create this image. And recently it was asked in response to a post on BIM Engine, so I'm going to record a video to show you guys all how to do it. So what we're looking at right now is a black and white uh, 3D document, or a, a document created from the 3D window, which I've made all black and white. And if we go to the 3D document settings, what I'm going to do is explain how to set these all up right. So starting from scratch, what we do is find the view we want, um, right click, and we're going to go, well, we want to click create 3D document, but I right clicked and it selected uh, that wall. So bonus tip, here is the quick selection um, that allows ArchiCAD to kind of intelligently see what the cursor is hovering. You can turn it off and then um, that works or if you hold down spacebar you'll temporarily turn it off. So you don't no notice my cursor is a little um, bar magnet, it's trying to select that if I hold down spacebar. It's a regular cursor and I can just right click and go new 3D document. Let's just give it a reference idea sample, name, sample, hit create. Lucky cat will think for a moment, and there we have this uh, 3D rendering, but it's a little ugly. So let's right click, go to 3D document settings. Uh, cut elements, we are going to ignore this for a second. I'll come back to that. Uncut elements, we want to go to uniform pen color and select a pen. Now, just for illustrative purposes, if we make that red and hit OK, everything goes crazy in red. So let's be smart about that and make it white. Now, uniform pen for uncut elements, I'm going to check that, make everything pen number 100, which is a default pen on everyone's pen set, it's going to be a nice thin black line. We're going to turn on vectoral hatching so we get any patterns, and we'll leave transparency off because we don't need to see what's on the inside of the building. Sun and shadow, let's turn that on. We don't need to see the contours. We want the shadows to be 25%, so it's just a nice tone. The fill pen, again, pen number 100 is going to work. And the fill background, let's go to transparent so we see what's behind it. Hidden edges, um, we're going to leave off. I'll show you what craziness that does in a moment. Hit OK. And we're done. Now, two things you'll notice, my windows are black. Um, why that is, if we go to 3D document settings, we can turn off vectoral hatching and they go white. You'll also notice that that brick pattern disappears. So I'm going to turn that back on and go to my surfaces, find glass, and you'll notice my glass has a hatch pattern on it because for my exterior elevations we wanted some tone on the windows. So I'm just going to go bring that to an empty fill, hit OK, and now that tone goes away. So there we have it. We're done. Uh, you get the nice shadow, um, black and white, everything else is just kind of pretty and perfect. But now let's look at some other things, just since we're talking about this. If we turn on hidden edges, um, let's make this a dashed line and we'll make it red, uh, and hit OK. What we're going to see is all the dashed lines of what's behind. Uh, this could be super useful if you're only showing, say, you know, footings or something simple, but for a complex image like this, it just gets uh, overwhelming. So let's go turn that off. Uh, the other option is if there is a cut plane, you can see that. Let's turn that off. Now, I'm going to go back to the floor plan real quick and make a heavy marquee, go back to 3D. And so now we have uh, a cut. And if we go back to our 3D document, right-click, redefine based on current 3D window, 
be defined. Now what's going to happen is we're going to see um, cut elements. And you'll notice everything is black and white, but now what's cut um, has color still. Um, and that offers some really cool opportunities. Let's go to 3D document settings. Now cut elements, we could do um, own surface colors. So this is basically we'd see it based on the building materials um, and hit OK. This project, by the way, was done in 16. Um, so I model a little differently in 17. So now we're starting to see all the colors. Um, and if you do your building materials right, this could look really nice. But you'll notice there's all you know different pens and whatnot. So we could go back to 3D document and click uniform pen for cut elements. And um, you can make it the same uh, pen 100, but let's just go make it a thicker one. So for me, that's pen 26 in this iteration of my pen sets. So now we've got thick lines. The next thing we can do, go to 3D document settings go to uniform surface and now we can check um, says use surface defined in 3d settings so if you notice oh, let's hit okay um, everything's going to turn this like uh, dark gray you'll notice that's how my cut settings are set up there um, that is set by the way under 3d View options under View, um, no, Elements in 3D View, uh, 3D three D the Cut, the Filter and Cut Elements in 3D, I believe. Yep, there it is. So here you can choose any time you cut in a marquee, whether you see the element attributes or you see uh, a uniform color. I like the uniform color because it means that it looks all pretty there. Anyways, back to the 3D document, we can um, set this to match the 3D cut, or we can make it something unique. So let's go ahead and make it red. We can make the cut lines similar red, uh, and hit OK. And now we, what we're going to get is a nice black and white um, drawing with all the shadows turned on, but then any element that's cut is bright red. Now, you'll notice the way I've modeled this project, there's some dead space there, the ground doesn't come there. So if I were actually doing this for a real project, I would go make sure that these spaces are all filled in, and then you're going to get basically this effect, where you get a beautiful black and white drawing, and then you know a heavy tone for the cut elements. But that's all I got for you today. Uh, hope you learned something. You can start using your uh, 3D documents to enhance your printed drawings. Thank you very much.